All right, guys, our coverage continues here in Las Vegas. We have former Gonzaga assistant Leon Rice, now the head coach at Boise State. They, are you excited to be in Vegas? We are happy to be here. Our, our tournament starts tomorrow, and uh, I think our guys are ready to play. Quick question for you. We've been keeping an eye on the Gonzaga Bulldogs, and what do you think about their number one ranking? Well, you know, I was so pleased last night. They beat St. Mary's handily, and... Uh, you know, for them, they've earned their way to the top. This is not, you know, this is the best time to be ranked number one, obviously. And, uh, you know, they've earned it. And it's been a long, long process. And a lot of bricks have been laid uh, to get to this number one spot. We'll have more from Leon coming up tonight on SWX Tonight. And don't forget, our Pac-12 and WAC coverage continues tomorrow. We'll see you then. Back to you guys in Spokane. Okay, that's my, that's my short one. Okay. So you're covering the Vandals? Yeah, we're covering the Vandals, the Cougs, the, the Broncos. Zags, and I'm giving the Broncos there some love. Go. We have yeah. a lot of Broncos fans Good. in Spokane. We do. They, Vandal fans hate them, but it's okay. It's okay. Vandals aren't a factor. Anymore. They are. I, I feel bad. <laughs> Can I get that on record? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. We can. forgot to apply for credentials for them. We have Mountain West Conference credentials and don't even have WAC credentials. I'm sure the nobody WAC goes. You nobody in. goes to those WAC. So I'm you calling the guy all day. I'm yeah. like, oh. Our guy forgot to apply. Can Jason Erickson will let you in. Yeah, I yeah. talked to Jay. Yeah, yeah, they're hurting. All right, go. Okay. Three, two. All right, guys, our coverage continues here from Las Vegas. I have former Gonzaga assistant Leon Rice, now the head coach at Boise State. Coach, you excited to be in Las Vegas? Well, you know, it's a great time of year to be playing. I think our guys are dialed in. Uh, we're playing good basketball right now, so we couldn't be more excited. Now, experts have you as a bubble team. What do you need to do in this tournament to, you know, prove yourself and prove that you need to be in that big dance? Well, we've done a lot to get into this position, and, you know, we got to, like I said, we're playing our best basketball right now, and, you know, the, the problem is there's so many good teams in the Mountain West, and we play a really good one uh, in San Diego State, and we've had great battles with them, and so I expect uh, nothing less tomorrow. You've had success at Boise State so far. Uh, do you credit Gonzaga for <laughs> that? <laughs> Absolutely. No question that the things that we had at Gonzaga, and, you know, we do a lot of similar things, and I have to adjust a little bit because personnel, and, uh, but, you know, that's where my recruiting base comes from. That's where my, you know, basketball knowledge comes from, and, you know, I'm just really proud, and that was the best thing about moving to Boise State was I didn't have to divorce Gonzaga. Right. Now, we've seen your kids in Spokane at Gonzaga Games. What's your relationship like with uh, Mark Fusto? Well, it's awesome, <laughs> and that's, like I said, that's the best thing about being the head coach at Boise State is we're not in the same league. We're never going to play each other, and uh, so, you know, we bounce ideas off each other all the time, and uh, it's great. Do you still keep an eye on the Zags, and what do you think of their number one ranking? Well, they, they've earned it, and they've earned it over these years and, and building up to this. And, you know, the staff and Mark and, and all these players have done a great job this year of handling it. And, you know, they're going to have a great NCAA tournament. Coach Rice, thanks for your time. Good luck in the tournament. All right. All right. Back to you guys in the Carhartt Sports Studio.